Hey, what's up guys? It's Brapsis here from Course Gaming and welcome to another how to make your own Minecraft mod. So let's get started. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own block and item. So let's get started. This is the most easiest way to make your own block. This is like, you don't have to have any skills at Java at all in order to make this. So just scroll up until you find net.minecraft.block. Open that one up and go into block.java. Then scroll down until you find stone, block stone. And then copy block stone and paste it in your mod underscore test. And now we have actually created a block. That is it. We have actually made a block. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to just explain everything and how you fix these er errors and stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah, the first thing we need to make is to <clears throat> make a new name on this one. And I'll have it test block. And this one, this is the block ID. The block ID of the of the block. So, well, you probably know that stone has the ID of one, and test block. I wanted to have like six thousand or something. Wait, okay, there we go. And one is the texture ID. Okay, not items. Okay, uh, let's just scroll down to rain. Okay, one zero. One. It you count in you count like that in these pictures. So when you make a custom uh, texture thing, uh, I'm going to show you that in the next episode. But yeah, this is how you make your own block. And this is the textures: zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc. So if I would like to have it like bedrock, then I'll count like this: zero, one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and <coughs> 16, and 18. So, oh, 18, no. Weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in 17. Okay, let's put 17 right there. And now it's block ID 6000 and have it like the bedrock texture. And the hardness of the block, this is the hardness of stone. I wanted to have like 5.0. Yeah, that's a good number, I guess. <laughs> but that's how hard the ore will be, or block, or whatever you want it to be. And the resistance. The resistance is if, you, if it just can resist explosions like, I don't know, TNT and creepers and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much what resistance is. And... I want it to be invulnerable for TNT. <laughs> okay, set step sound. This will add the sound when you mine it or dig it or <coughs> walk on it and stuff. So, yeah, this is an error because, <coughs> sorry guys, um, because it's nothing in this class file that says sound stone footstep we haven't created anything that triggers the sound stone foot footstep but block the java has sound footstep S sound stone footstep sorry guys so let's just have it like block dot oh dot there we go now the error is fixed and if you have a dot on anything like that uh, if I put uh, real quick just to show you guys block dot that will uh, like access anything in this file block and in my mod it will be test oh in our mod sorry uh, test dot uh, test block to access this one yeah there we go and yeah set block name and the name will be t 
test and that will not show the name in game I'm just going to show you guys how to make it show in in game later but yeah now we have a functional block but we cannot place it yet because it has to be registered and in order to make it registered and add a name is to have it like this make a, a new public thing a type of thing yeah <laughs> uh, okay then type in public void load and then but and then brackets and then this weird symbol and mod loader it's very case sensitive so it has to be a, a capital yeah capital L and M it's really important so and then dot and that and okay this is how you access all the things as I told you before okay let's just do dot again and add a name yeah add name here we go and instance it's test block and the name we will we want to have it and we want to have oh okay wait a second before I'm going to show you how to make it uh, have a name you have to put these symbols in order to make it happen um, uh, unless you want an error <laughs> yeah, okay uh, we want to have test okay test block test there we go and center columns I think it's named like that I'm not sure okay n and now we will need to register the block and that's done by this mod loader dot re just oh register block oh block and then brackets and our test block laggy okay sorry <laughs> whoa what what yeah that's what I'm telling you guys laggy laggy um and center columns again so now this will work really fine but before we can test minecraft we have to make like fix this error and we need to make a new file but i'm not going to do that right now i'm just going to fix this so i'm not sure what the, oh yeah now i know what's wrong we need to make it so it knows what version of Minecraft it's running and stuff. So let's fix that. Yeah. Let's have it in here. Okay. Now we have to type in public and capital S string and then get uh, lowercase get and capital V and version and then brackets and then this weird symbol again and do return and uh, and then do space and these weird symbols again and have it 1.4.7 and that and central column okay so now that error is fixed so let's try out minecraft shall we and see if it works Okay. Hello. Yes, hello, good sir. How are you doing? Yaba. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Come on, please. Come on. Mods for mods. Hmm. Come on, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, it's crashed. Damn it. Okay, let's see what's wrong. Box stone. Yeah, what's up? Caused by ah index out of bounds. Six thousand is too much. Damn. We need to have it lower. Okay, three thousand. That will work. I hope so. Okay, hello, good sir. Okay, come on. Don't crash. Don't crash. Yes. Okay, let's create a new world uh, and test modding. Yeah. 
Okay, cre not hardcore, creative. Super flood, I like it to have a redstone ready. And regenerate structures and create new world. Okay, let's see how this will look. Okay. Come on, don't crash. Test modding, yeah. Okay, now. Render distance far. Just fix that real quick. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Now, uh, where's our block? Right here! Yeah, test, block, test. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, by the way. Oh, wait. It's not as hard as bedrock, though. Uh, mode. Zero. Because our hardness were set to 5. And it's mineable with anything. Because we haven't fixed with the pickaxe yet. Or wait, we have. Actually, it's a material rock. Forget that. We need to have a pickaxe. But it's mineable with any pickaxe. Just so you know. Okay. Let's test it. Yeah. Whoa. Cobblestone? Why does it drop cobblestone? Okay. Oh, <clears throat> okay, now I know. Sorry. I know why it do drops cobblestone. It's because we use block stone. So let's just fix that and make a new and make a new class file. And we want the class file to be named test block. And let's just copy the test stone. So we get the same properties but change that one. Okay. And get to the source and create new file and <coughs> test block dot java okay paste fix the bugs okay no no sorry the errors but this error is because we aren't in the package net dot minecraft dot block we are in the net in the net dot minecraft dot source so we changed and the name isn't the block stone it's test block fixed we haven't imported block and let's import net.minecraft.block there we go and now it's fixed so now it's return it returns cobblestone and i want to return like an item or something uh so let's yeah an item that's a good idea um okay let's make a new item it, it's just as easy as that because go into item copy like diamond or something like that copy and then paste it right there and yeah there we go and test item oh no the ID won't be 8 it's 4000 yeah 4000 and this is the textures it's not that one it's this it's different okay let's just fix that and test lol yeah okay seven seven stands for this all of this uh it's zero one two three four five six seven co and then three three down zero one two three and that's the diamond so let's just have it look like redstone, okay? And that was eight right there. And create a tab like that, yeah. Now that should work actually, but let's let's just make it drop that item. And it's mod underscore test uh, dot test item and dot shifted shift no. What's where? Dot shifted index. Shifted index. What's wrong? Item ID. Oh. Face palm. Okay. Now it should work. Let's test it again. 
And why I did the bug fix is because you can change the code. And while you're changing the code, the Minecraft code will change as well. Just so you know. Okay. What's weird? Ah, oh, block three seven. Block stone owned by blah blah. Blah blah. Okay, let's just. Yes. Screw that. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Mine. Redstone, but it's not redstone. It's nothing. And why it's nothing? It's because we haven't added the name yet. And let's just change that. Okay. Let's add the name. Just copy the add name and change the it to item and item oh no item okay test yeah save go into minecraft and oh god yeah i need to turn it off okay <clears throat> let's see if it works with the name okay Come on, you can do this. Yes, test item test and test block test. Okay, let's mine it. Let's mine it, and it will drop like redstone. But it's test item test. Okay, guys, that was a bit of a tutorial. <laughs> okay, but in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, custom. Uh, custom textures and make it so like when you mine this and that will drop uh, it will drop xp as well so yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode and remember to like comment and subscribe and by liking it's very appreciated and it will keep me working on these videos so yeah see you guys bye